You have the pound set for further trouble following dovish comments from Bank of England policymaker Michael Saunders, who used to be a hawk, and then now he comes out uh, and says that potentially if the UK avoids a no-deal Brexit, monetary policy also could go either way, and I think it's quite plausible the next move in bank rates would be down rather than up. Ed Evans uh, has more. Ed, a reversal from Mr. Saunders. Indeed, and this uncertainty continues. Brexit Minister Steve Barclay is in Brussels today, continuing negotiations with the EU. Uh, but frankly, nobody on either side is very clear or very confident that a deal is going to emerge. It's clear that the UK hasn't addressed the EU's roadblocks, the key concerns over issues like the Irish border. And even if Boris Johnson wanted a deal, it's not clear he could get it through Parliament. If you look at his recent rhetoric, uh, his allies today warning of riots if, there aren't, if the Brexit doesn't happen, um, that has done a lot to alienate moderates in Parliament, making it harder to get any kind of deal through Parliament at this point. Both sides here want to get to a deal, it must be stressed, or at least avoid the blame for when one isn't reached.